Back in March, students turned in their new course selections. Now, the administration has deemed 10 classes under-enrolled for the 2013-2014 school year. Why do so many classes have low enrollment? Yearbook teacher Kelly Thompson weighs in. Some students um, are deciding they want to drop their electives because they don't feel like they can handle the AP classes and electives and all of that at once. Yearbook has been under-enrolled for two years running, but last year it got past its low enrolled status. So last year the board canceled the class temporarily and then the um, community and the enterprise and the parents got behind it and basically said that they weren't going to stand for that and so the board reconfigured and put things back together. Other classes, such as Japanese 3, 4, and 5, had conflicts that were resolved in a favorable way for students. Senior Aaron Fong had a conflict with an under-enrolled Japanese class last year. So as you go up the levels, there's less or there's fewer and fewer people who are in the class. So um, Japanese 3, Japanese 4, and Japanese 5 all share a class period. Um, so about half the class is Japanese, or probably two-thirds of the class is Japanese 3. Then we have um, six or so people in Japanese 4, and then there's five of us in Japanese 5. Math 300, a college-level course, has also been under-enrolled for the last two years. Junior Lydia Geegan signed up to take Math 300 next year and is really hoping the class will be available. I mean, I see it kind of as a class for people that might be like struggling with math. I think that they should keep it because you get a lot, like if there's a lower student teacher ratio, you get a lot of like one-on-one -on -one attention and stuff like that. And that's like really helpful now because I'm pretty sure my math class right now is like 35 people. This has been Nathan Curtis for BlueDevilHub.com.